So you want to know the best gun to use for the assault class in EA Star Wars Battlefront 2. Well, you clicked on the right video because I'm going to be taking a look at which gun is the good, which gun is the bad, and which gun is the ugly, and the three guns you can unlock in the assault class at the moment in EA Star Wars Battlefront 2. So my name is Nick, and without further ado, let's get right into the video and show you guys or tell you guys what is the best gun to use for the assault class in Star Wars Battlefront 2. <laughs> So I'm not gonna take a look at any of the default guns and if there are future guns that come out I might do a video on them but for now these are the only three main guns at the moment that are unlockable for the assault class in EA Star Wars Battlefront 2. So let's take a look at our first gun and the first gun you unlock is the A280 and this gun is basically a modified version of the normal A280 that you get for the Rebels. This modified version just can have attachments it's basically pretty much it. Now the cooling power is 8 dots while the range is 7 dots and the rate of fire is 3 with the damage being 8 dots. Now the first attachment you can unlock for the A280 is dual zoom and what this basically is is it basically gives you the ability to zoom in farther while you have this attachment on. So there's not much of an uh, advantage with this gun other or this attachment other than you basically can zoom farther but it does help with long range shots. Next up is the improved cooling attachment and what this basically does is it greatly increases the time the blaster can be fired before requiring to be cooled down basically you can shoot this blaster a longer time needing then needing it to like instantly cool down after shooting it a while you can shoot it a little bit longer now this is a really good attachment overall it's a big necessity attachment honestly it's like a crutch attachment you need this attachment because having a gun that can shoot a, a longer duration really does benefits in gunfights no matter what and last but not least is improved range which basically gives you a a new barrel or extended barrel that basically gives you the ability to do more damage to targets that are farther away. Now this is a really good attachment overall. It does give a big advantage to giving you the ability to do more damage than a target to targets that are farther away. This and the dual zoom combined together really does make a crazy sniper gun. But honestly, the dual zoom is not a good attachment to use. And in my opinion, this gun, the only attachments you should use for this gun is improved cooling and improved range since those are the two main attachments you will be using a lot. And just know that this is a three burst gun so having improved cooling and improved range really does help a lot with this. And since it's a three burst gun hitting long range shots are going to be super easy with the normal scope as well so it's not like you really need dual zoom. But is the A280 the best gun for the assault class? Well, we'll find out at the end of the video. But next up here is the CR2. And the CR2 is basically a fast firing close quarters gun. Its cooling power is eight dots while its range is three dots. And its rate of fire is 10 dots with its damage being three dots. First attachment you can unlock for the CR2 is reduced recoil. And this basically adds a stock, give you the ability to have reduced recoil so you can basically sustain all of the shots you shoot out in a fast amount of time towards the target because this gun shoots really fast. Next up is ion shots and what this basically does is it gives you the ability to do increased damage towards turrets, vehicles, and shields but reduce damage against troopers. So this is a attachment that really isn't beneficial unless you're a big team sport player and like to do more damage towards vehicles and whatnot to basically recal on anybody that decides to use those. And last but not least, you have the night vision attachment, which, is, which gives you the ability to see enemies in the dark. So like dark time maps, this really does help for dark time maps, but honestly, there's no point of doing it because the people really do glow up during dark time maps. The only people that really don't is basically rebels and the resistance troopers. Other than that, everybody else pretty much glows up. Oh, and the battle droids are pretty hard to see during the night, so this could possibly help. I could see some situations, but I don't know. In most, in most cases, you're really not going to need the night vision, but if you want, you can add it. Now, the attachments I, I think are really beneficial, honestly, or attachment is reduced recoil. Reduced recoil is the main attachment you should have for the CR2. Ion shot is a no-brainer. You should not have that on at all. And then 
uh, night vision is it's okay you can use it for certain situations but i believe you should only put this attachment on if there are nighttime versions of the maps there's no point of using it for anything else other than that but if you just don't want to put it on and you just want to have it like that then go ahead and just leave it on night vision is a good attachment that helps a lot as well but the main attachment is reduced recoil now is the cr2 the best gun for the assault class well again we'll find that out at the end of the video now last but not least we have the el 16 h F E. This is a really, really good gun for medium and long range damage, but it has a really slow firing rate. The cooling power is 8 dots while the range is 7, the rate of fire is 3, and the damage is 8. Now the first attachment you can get for this gun is reduced recoil, which basically gives you the ability to sustain all the shots for this gun, and it really does help for long range shots, it really does, trust me. Reduced recoil is a big beneficial attachment that if any gun has it, you should use it. And next up is improved range, which basically gives you the ability to do higher damage to farther targets, and this really does help this gun particular because this is a medium to long range combat gun. It's not that good at close range because it shoots so slow but it does help sometimes in close range. It's basically an all-purpose gun, but it's big areas shine in medium to long range fights, so improved range does help a lot for that. And last but not least, you have its dual zoom attachment, which just gives you the ability to zoom a little bit farther. And honestly, I can see some situations where you need this, but for the amount of recoil this gun has when you aim down, there's no point of using this honestly. And the normal sight is still pretty good overall. You really don't need a dual zoomed sight. But the main attachments I think you should use for the EL16 HFE is honestly reduce recoil and improve range. Reduce recoil helps a lot for sustaining your shots to basically make it towards your target a lot easier. And improve range gives you the ability to do more damage farther away, which is what this gun shines in. So really those two attachments are the best to use. I really see no purpose for dual zoom since the scope is basically made to do medium to long range fights. It's not a scope that you should honestly switch out. It's perfect just the way it is. But is the EL16 HFE the best gun for the assault class? And here is my opinion on this guys. The A280 is the good gun. It's the gun to go towards when you use the assault class no matter what. It's good for close quarters, medium, and far range engagements. Now the CR2 in my opinion is the ugly gun out of the three. It's a gun that is not so fond upon in my opinion and it's a gun that just doesn't really excel in a lot of situations but only close quarter combat which only happens rarely in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Now, for the bad gun, I give it to the EL16 HFE, and I'm giving it the bad category because it's a gun used for only medium and long range engagements, but you can use it for close range, and it's a really good gun overall for both medium and long range. Possibly even better for the A280, but the A280 is an all purpose gun that just excels in all the areas but the el16 hfe is actually better than the cr2 i have wrecked a lot of people who use a cr2 that compete with me with the el16 hfe now this gun is a two shot kill to the head so if you can land headshots or at least one headshot just one headshot and then a shot to the chest just basically destroys them but guys that is my take on what is the best gun for the assault class to use in ea Star Wars brown from 2 now if this did help you out drop a like it helps me out a ton and if you're new channel subscribe for more and content because i upload every monday wednesday and friday and remember that bell subscribe button so you don't miss an upload and also follow me on twitch.tv slash 45 because i stream a lot of battle royale games from there and it's really fun and i'm planning on streaming a lot more other battle royale games so you guys can take a look at what other battle royale games are out there and whatnot because the battle royale genre is going to blow up or it is already starting to blow up it's going to become like the zombies genre back then so you'll see a lot of battle royale games real soon on twitch also what about cartoon series playlist right about now and i'll put in the description down below the series playlist is called the best guns for the classes in star wars battlefront 2 now if you're wondering what is a good gun to use or basically if you're just wanting to see a stats of or the stats for all of the guns for the classes then this series is for you i highly recommend checking out the playlist if any of that interests you and if you need some help and tips on what are some good attachments to use for any of the guns really in the categories for the classes but i really recommend checking out this video if you have or need any help 
for that. But again, guys, that's basically pretty much it. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. And also comment down below your thoughts about the assault classes guns. Which one, in your opinion, is the best gun? And which one or which attachment do you think excels with that gun the most or attachments? I would love to hear any of your opinions in the comments down below. But I'll see you guys in my next video. And peace.